Hi everyone, it's Max down here again at the Cedar Lake Outdoor Center. We're here at our amphitheater fire pit uh, to go over our one match challenge fire building. Now, earlier we talked about wilderness survival and the importance of shelter building. After you've gotten a shelter built, the next important thing that you need is a fire. Fires are phenomenal. They can keep you warm. They can be your friend in dark times. They can be your light source, a sense of comfort. But at the same time, they can be extremely dangerous and unforgiving. So it's very important that we are super careful when working with fires. The first crucial part of safety when it comes to building a fire is creating a ring around your fire to prevent it from spreading and starting a forest fire. We're going to use our fire pit down here at the Cedar Lake. Uh, but you can just take some rocks and build them a nice little fire ring uh, after you clear out all of the debris on the ground all the way down to dirt. One of my favorite things about fire is the fact that they are living, breathing things almost. When you are in a survival situation, fire can be your friend and the thing that gets you through. Fires require three things to survive, just like animals, right? We as animals need food, water, and shelter. Fires, they need a little bit different. They need a fuel source, which might be your tinder or your kindling. They need a chemical reaction, like a match or a lighter. And finally, they need oxygen so that they can grow big and strong. Now, we're gonna build our shape, which will be a combination of log cabin and teepee, but I, you gotta start with your tinder. Now, the tinder is that really small stuff. You wanna rip it up into small bits so you have a lot of surface area and then create yourself a nice little nest. All right, so now I've assembled my base log cabin. All right, the log cabin I really like to start with because it's sturdy, gives me a lot of base. Um, and as you can see, my tinder is down here. There's plenty of room for oxygen and I've left myself a few different spots that I can light my fire. If you build your base structure here and don't leave yourself somewhere to light your tinder, how are you gonna start your fire? Next, we're gonna add a layer of TP style. All right, so now We've added the TP shape on top of our log cabin. Uh, you can still see there's plenty of room for oxygen. There's still plenty of tinder. Um, I'll probably add a little bit more tinder around it to kind of help it once I light it. And now we are going to add uh, another log cabin with slightly bigger wood as well. All right, so I've built my next layer of log cabining. Next, it's time to take a match and light your tinder. It's important to try to hit a few different places instead of relying on just one spot to get things started. It's also okay to give it a little bit of love. Well, this is embarrassing. begins to take off, feel free to add a little bit more tinder. Make sure you have piles of firewood ready to go so that you can keep adding to it. And voila, a one-match fire. 